Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part three of my tutorial on how to create WordPress themes from scratch. Currently, there are three video tutorials on how to create WordPress themes from scratch, and I provide links to them above. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to completely style this blog page that we have here on the right side so that everything looks real nice. By the end, this right side will look pretty. I promise you that. First thing I'm going to do is in the upper right hand corner over here, you can see this text, which is the slogan part of the WordPress theme. If you can't see this, watch it full screen. Well, what I decided to do was actually to change the font on that, and I did it in exactly the same way. I'm using a Google font just like we used before. Google web font. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna copy that link to that font so that I can use it everywhere. Jump into the header.php files and then paste it in right underneath of where I defined my last Google font. So that's the only change I'm making there to the header and I file save that. And now I'm gonna jump back into style.css and start styling everything. Okay, so what we're gonna do here first is just by looking at what's on the right side of the screen, I'm gonna put everything into position. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is come down to blog slogan since I just changed that font, I have to go into my CSS code and it surrounds this blog slogan in the upper right hand corner. Paste this inside of here and I'm just going to change the name of the font to my chroma or however you pronounce that and then file save it. All right, if we reload it, you can see that that font just changed, okay? But it looks absolutely ridiculous being left aligned. So we definitely want to change that. So what I'm going to do is just come in here and just go text align and change it to text align right. Reload. And there you go, it looks a lot better now. Okay, so pretty much everything else there looks about right, and I see no reason to really change anything else there. So let's just move on. If we come down here to the search box, also everything looks pretty good. Of course, we're gonna have to test this on Internet Explorer later on to see if that gets messed up, but as it is right now, it looks pretty nice. Then on top of that, the person I was doing this website for decided they wanted this swirl inside of here. So I'm gonna try to fix that, even though I don't particularly like the way it looks. And it's surrounded by an ID because there's only one swirl. So I'm just gonna position it in here so that it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna say I wanna position it relative to where it is. And I'm gonna say that I wanna move it up 50 pixels. So I put negative 50, reload. And yes, indeed, that looks better. So that's, we're just gonna leave that the way it is also as well. Now what we gotta do is come in here and fix this menu system. Right now it's just an unordered list. Well, what I do whenever I'm using or creating a menu system is I use the same code every single time. So I'm gonna say menu styling for site. Just gonna put a little comment in here so that if anybody looks at this, they know what they're saying. And the code that I I use is right here and just gonna copy it because this is what I do every single time all the way down here you can get this code again there's a link underneath this video Jump back into style.css and I'm gonna paste it all in there but what's great about this is there's very few things you're gonna need to change basically all I change in the entire thing is the color for the bars for the menu system that's it and if we file save this we can come in here and reload it and there you can see there is the menu system or you might not be able to see it I zoom in here there's a menu system it's all done and it's working and it's a WordPress menu system so you know it's gonna work properly on any website so that's cool one thing I'm noticing here though is my search box just fell down so let's jump over here search box and let's move it up a little bit let's say we want to take it up 95 pixels and there you go search box is fixed so let's get back to this menu system what did I basically do here well down in the footer section which from before it has a gradient well I decided to use the same gradient in my menu system so basically all I had to do was scroll the whole way down after I copy and pasted that code was I scrolled the whole way down here to this background area and I just copied all of this for this is for the gradient for the footer and then I came back and put into this and pasted that inside that color change and that's pretty much all I do whenever I'm making these sites and then I take whatever color so like here I have this color defined well if I'm putting in a border I just copy and paste those color changes from menu system to menu system and then hit file save and that's it and pretty much everything else that's defined inside of here as you saw previously the menu system in WordPress is always an unordered list that's how it's done well with the code that I'm using here I don't need to change anything except for the background colors that's it so and everything will just snap into place and work beautifully. So now that the menu system is all fixed up, and it's really that simple, 
CSS code or content area. So the content wrapper, everything seems to be fine. The content wrapper is this purple here that surrounds everything that's on the website. So that looks fine. I don't see any reason to need to change it. One thing I do need to change is the div that surrounds everything that's in the left sidebar. From the previous tutorials, you may remember, we changed the name of it from left sidebar to first sidebar. And that's the only changes we need to make there. So that's real nice. Then with left container, this is the div that surrounds all of the individual elements in our left sidebar. Everything looks fine there, so I'm not going to bother changing anything. And we can even zoom in here just so you can see all the individual things that are going on inside of there. Banner title. You can see here on the screen that this is kind of overlapping for some goofy reason. What I'm going to do here is bring it down a little bit. So from the left side, I want to take this to 7, and I don't want it to go up quite as much. I'm going to change that to 20. File save. And you can also see everything else popped into place. Well, why did it do that? The main reason why is float left. I floated this guy left, so everything popped up here into place. And you can also see that the banner title, which is the little guy that I just edited, also looks real, real nice. And we can zoom back out here. Basically, what you're going to see is the left sidebar now looks good. The middle content area looks good, except the right sidebar is not up here where it should be. And we're going to go in here and we're going to slowly fix that. Mainly the reason it's not up in here snapped into place is because the middle content isn't floated left. Another thing that's a problem, and let me zoom in here again, is the fact that Flamingo is underlined and I don't like that. I want this just to be black. If they click on it, it's still going to take them to the content of the article, but for styling reasons, I don't want to have that there. So what am I going to do? Well, the div that surrounds that guy is called article title. So I'm going to go article title and A, close that off. And if you want to get rid of the underline, you just go text decoration, none. And then we're going to change the color of the text to black. And you can see now it looks exactly the way I want it to look. And the left sidebar pretty much looks done. It looks perfect. So I don't really have to change anything there. Okay, what comes up next is the actual content column. Well, what this is, is it's actual pages inside of WordPress meaning all of this. I'm going to leave that for the next tutorial because I want to fix all the different pages all at one time. So we're just going to skip that for now. Let's scroll the whole way down until we get into middle column. These are the divs that surround all this information that's in the middle of the screen. Well, looking at it, everything looks to be pretty tight here. The margin right, I think I'm going to take down just a little bit because the distance between those guys is a little bit much. And then margin left, I'm going to take that down a little bit so that everything gets in here a little bit tighter than it currently is set up. For. And then another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate line breaks between these guys, but I still want them to work like block elements. So if you want to create divs that don't force a line break, because basically this guy has a fixed width of 260 pixels, so we know that these divs are always going to line up properly, I'm going to call for display in line block. And if you don't quite get what I'm saying there, don't worry about it, or you can leave a question below. I'll try to explain it a little bit better. Just helps me with overall layout. And pretty much everything else is looking tight here, except again, I don't want these titles to be underlined. I want them to be black. And if we scroll down, you'll see middle art title right here. If I want to target the actual links for styling, I'm going to follow that with an A. And then come in here and do the text decoration, none again, and color the text black, just like we did before. And you can see that that works now. So all that's nice and tidy. And now basically what we got to do is get the right sidebar styling all looking real nice. And here is the right sidebar right now, so we got to move it up into the yeah, this area. So I'm going to continue scrolling down. Here's where the right sidebar styling is. And again, we change this instead of right sidebar to second sidebar. And you're going to see that that snaps up inside of there. And there it is. And that's pretty much all the styling we need to do there, because why? Everything looks good. That's why. Now with right container, which is going to be everything that surrounds all the widgets that are thrown into the right side where we're going to make some changes here. For one thing, I'm going to make sure that the font is the same inside of this guy. So let's just copy that, jump down here, and then we're going to jump down after background color, and we're going to throw that font in there. Just That's all, just a little bit of tidying up. Make sure everything looks good. Then on margin left, I'd like to get a little bit more room inside of there. Kind of cramp. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to change this to margin left so that everything lines up a little bit better. And I'm going to change this to 15 pixels. And I'd also like to add some padding on the left side of about 5 pixels. Again, this is all like sort of looking at what you got and seeing how you'd like it to change it. I do a lot of twiddling around with padding and 
changing of margins and things like that. And it's something that just kind of comes naturally after you make a couple web pages. Well, then what I want to do, if you see this right here, I'm going to actually zoom in on it. This looks really nasty. I mean, it's just not, it just doesn't look nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the bullets on this, get rid of them, and I'm going to add some nice styling to this page so that everything looks a little bit nicer. I also know that I don't need this ebook thing here because I got rid of that in the last tutorial. So that's gone. And the same thing is going to be true for the affiliate container because I got rid of that in the last tutorial. So let's get rid of those two things. So now I'm going to create a brand new set of styling that's going to work for all of the widgets. Well, if you want to do that inside of WordPress, you're going to do the same thing again every single time. You're going to get the name of whatever the div is that surrounds all of your widgets, which is going to be right container. We defined that in the last tutorial. And then you're going to make specific styling changes to unordered lists because that's how everything is set up inside of WordPress in regards to widgets. So you're going to make changes to unordered lists and individual list items. And then we're going to make also changes to list items that are links so that they look nicer. And then on top of that, we're going to make changes to list items in general. And this is the way you're always going to do this. You're going to make these three changes it's again it's the whatever div is surrounding the widgets and then these individual elements is what I'm going to be making changes to so let's say I want to put a border underneath any of these list items and I want to make it dashed and I want to have it be kind of like gray and I also want to put in some padding on the bottom of three pixels and some padding on the top and again this is just preferences that I have I like putting padding around on stuff and the margin left see how that's indented there I don't like that indentation so I want to get rid of it so what do I do I just go margin left and then I make it a negative number 30 pixels and then X decoration I'm gonna set that for none reload and you can see it's looking a lot tighter here the only problem is I have this bulleted item inside of there I don't want that but everything else is looking nice and I also don't like the fact this is underlined and it looks like a link. It's real simple, again, to get rid of those underlines. Just go text decoration none, and then go text transform. I think uppercase has a tendency to look nicer, especially whenever you have unordered lists like this. So I'm gonna change it to uppercase. It's gonna automatically make everything uppercase. And then I'm gonna change my color again, which is also a kind of a gray. Reload it, and then see, got rid of that. Now things are starting to look a lot nicer. So what do I have left to do? Well, I wanna get rid of those bullets and a couple other things. So let's go text transform uppercase. Put that in there again. If you want to get rid of bullets, just go list, style, type, and change it to none. Reload. And you can see, there it is. It's all laid out. And it looks really, really nice. It looks a lot nicer than it did before anyway. And then another thing that I like to always add to this, and let's scroll out just so you can see that it looks good. There's everything all laid out real, real nice the way that I wanted it to be laid out before. Oh, that pesky search form jumped down there again. Let's go in there and fix that. And there's search box, and let's move it up to, say, 105. Reload, there it is, moved up. And then from, let's make the width a little bit bigger. File save. All right, now the search feature fits in there real nice and tight, so that's good. And let's move the blog slogan over as well. Let's take it uh, 35. And just so you can see it, reload, there you go. Went over just a little bit. I'm just moving things around left to right, up and down, all these different things. Okay, so that looks perfect. And another thing that I like to do, and this is something that we're not actually gonna see on the screen this time, but I always do this with all my WordPress websites. And in this situation, I'm actually gonna show it right here using my own website as an example. You can see here, when I embedded this image inside of my post inside of WordPress, see how there's spacing around this guy? Well, you have to actually put that into WordPress. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is again, like copy and paste code that should always be in CSS files instead of WordPress. And it's real simple to do. All you're gonna do is go image and centered. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna define exactly what happens when somebody uses different alignments inside of WordPress. So we're gonna define what exactly does it mean for an image to be aligned in the center or aligned right inside of WordPress so that things look the way that we want them to look. Then I'm gonna copy that. All right, so for Alignment Center, I've worked this out on my own. You're gonna always wanna display things as a block format, and you want it to be displayed margin left, auto. So this is always going to fix up a lot of problems. And margin right, auto, which is centered. 
But WordPress messes these things up sometimes. So that's why I come in here and I always make sure I do it. And then I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna jump down here and paste the exact same thing in for alignment center. And then image align right. What we're gonna do is put some padding inside of this. So I'm gonna go padding all around the whole entire thing of four pixels. And I'm also gonna put a margin around everything. So zero on the top, zero on the right, and then two pixels and then seven pixels on the left for alignment right, because we're gonna want that extra padding on the left side, so that's why we're putting it this way. And I'm gonna display this in line, so that it just lies right in there in the right place. And then for align left, pretty much gonna do the opposite, because this is gonna be on the left side of the screen. I'm gonna leave my padding of four pixels exactly the same, except I want the right side to be seven pixels on the right side of my image, and I still want this to be two pixels, however, I don't want any padding on the other side displayed in a line format as well. And then it's real simple to define this as a line right here, because we're just gonna say float right, and for left, we're gonna say float left. And another thing, this is for Internet Explorer, this is something else you're always gonna have to do, is Internet Explorer by default always surrounds all images that link to a page with a blue border. If you want to get rid of that blue border, you're going to go border, style, and none. Just like I promised, the blog is properly set up, plus you learned a couple other little neat tricks. These are definitely, if you're going to make WordPress themes, these are definitely things that are going to come up. You're going to be like, oh, how do I properly style images inside of posts? And then in the upcoming parts, whenever I make this whole entire thing work, well, if we click on archive here, I'm going to fix all of this. Actually, in the next tutorial, I'm going to fix the archive page across the entire site. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.